A local nonprofit that supports, on average, over 1,400 children in foster care each year through advocacy has a newly renovated campus where children can feel safe, learn, and play. Tiffany Huertas takes us to the Harvey E. Najim campus of Child Advocate San Antonio. It's on the southeast side, and it's where the community is also going to get an opportunity to enjoy some of this special space. It's a room designed for kids to relax, read a book, or play with sensory items. In all of these cubbies, there's little hidden games. This is one of the newly renovated rooms at the Harvey E. Najum campus of Child Advocate San Antonio or CASA. The museum is behind this giving library. This area is actually going to also be open to our community during certain times and they can come in and take a book. Other updated rooms include a changing room for children, a space for older kids to play and a new kitchen. Their advocates can bring them here. They can do a load of laundry. Um, we're actually working with the chef program to we're training everyone to be able to teach classes for basic cooking so the advocates can bring their kids in. They can learn how to make just standard stuff so that they're ready to be on their own at, at least a basic level. For 40 years, CASA has been recruiting and developing court appointed volunteer advocates who provide support for children and youth who have experienced abuse and neglect. I want it to be a place where children know they're always welcome, that they are special and that they are worthy. And I want our advocates to feel that too. Angie White, the president and CEO of CASA, believes these new spaces will help the children they serve, but says there is a need for more advocates. How many children right now need an advocate? So we're serving around 1,000 children. That means there are 2,600 children that don't have an advocate in this community. With this new fresh and bright space, White hopes more people get involved and become advocates. You have to be 21, driving license, do all the background checks. But the passion is if you can serve a child the way you would care for your own, they don't live with our advocates, the children. But if you can serve a child the way you would look after your own child, if they needed glasses, if they needed a hearing test, if they needed a hug, you'd be there. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.